Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the area command in Revit 2016. The area command is located under the architecture tab of the ribbon, room and area panel, and the area command here. When we're working with this command, it's to define a group of rooms, if you will, as a particular area. Now, when we're working with this, we typically want to create spe um, specifically plans for this purpose. We'll go to the View tab of the ribbon, Create Panel, go to Plan View, and click Area Plan. When you do this, you can specify two types of area plans, rentable or gross. Let's start with the gross. We'll pick the floor that we want to work with, so we'll just do Floor 1, because we already have that highlighted. Hit OK. And it will let you know that it will automatically create area boundary lines that are associated with the external walls and the gross building area. Say Yes. It creates a new one and a new category called Area Plans in your project browser, and it's called Floor 1. If you want to, you can rename this to be uh, less confusing. So we'll say Floor 1 uh, Gross Area Plan. Okay, and we'll rename the corresponding views. <clears throat> um, as you can see, we have these. Uh, purplish, very light purplish lines that go on the outside edges. And it gives you one gross area over here. And you can select it and you can see area tag. Okay. If you want to do rentable, uh, in other words, creating uh, different boundaries for each area to be rentable, because typically people that will do the gross area plan, they'll just do one like this and call it a day. So we'll go back to the view tab of the ribbon, go back to plan, do another one, and this time say rentable, for floor one and say yes and we're going to for the sake of ease we'll leave that as floor one so now under area plans rentable floor one you have another one drawn but this time the magenta lines are on the inside face of those walls if we go back to the architecture tab of the ribbon we can specify and start working with the area command the area boundary and tagging. If I do the area command, I can actually go here and choose area plan as well, or just place an area. Let's say, for example, <clears throat> I want to define these two rooms as one area. I don't have the lines that I need, the purplish lines that I need from here to here to here to define that area. So I'll say area boundary. And I can pick the lines that I want to work with or draw lines that I want to work with. So I'm just going to pick for now. And once you've done that, verify that that boundary line goes across and touches so that it's clean. If you need to, you can bring that back uh, over here. Make sure that's touching. Make sure this one is touching. It doesn't have to touch, but I like it just to be sure that it's exact how I how you know how I perceived it. <clears throat> now that you're finished, you use the area command, and you, it's just like a room command where it is. Think of it as a cloud, where you hold it and you let go in a room and it expands, and it's looking for room bounding objects. So here it's looking for area bounding objects as well. You can see that it's going to go across, and but it's going to stay within that range. See that, and you just click to place it. Once you've placed it, you can double click the text and call it whatever you want. Say office zone or area A, something like that. And now you've created a area plan rentable for floor one, and you're starting to quote unquote divvy up the model for each of those areas. And that's it. Uh, lastly, if you want to, you can also put in. Um, See where it had it. Let's go to annotate color fill legend and place a color fill legend. And we'll do error rentable, hit OK, and there you go. And that's the area command in Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast. 
and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.